What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to graph our results for a convolutional neural network with PyTorch and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to graph our results for our CNN. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we ran everything and we got our results. In this video, we want to sort of graph out, chart out, plot out these results and see how well we did. And then we're also going to check to see how correct our model predicted things. So let's come down here and let's graph the loss at each epoch, right? So let's go plt.plot and plt as you remember way back at the very beginning we imported matplotlib as plt right so we can plot things with that check the channel for my numpy and my pandas series we do all kinds of plotting and stuff in that if you're interested in learning about that and while you're at it be sure to check the pinned comment below to get a link to this playlist as well as this code if you're interested so all right so let's plot this guy plt.plot and then we want our train underscore losses now let's give this a label so we can you know, see what's going on. And this is gonna be training loss, right? We also want to plt.plot our test losses. And we'll give this a label of, of test losses or say validation loss, something like that. And then while we're at it, let's give this little chart a title. Let's go plt.title and let's say loss at epoch. And we probably want a little legend to explain which line is which since we have two different lines. So let's go plt.legend. And there we go. Now we run this, we may get an error here. Yeah, we're getting an error. Uh, you can't call NumPy on a tensor. So we're gonna have to convert this tensor to a Python list real quick. So uh, instead of for our train losses, so let's go train underscore losses. And let's set that equal to and like I said, let's just convert this to a Python list. Let's go uh, training losses dot item. We're going to call it training losses TL. Uh, and then let's go for TL in train underscore losses. It's just going to append these on there. So, okay, let's go ahead and run this shift enter to run. Okay. And we get our little graph and we only really have four data points, right? There's four epochs. So here's one, two, three, four, and it starts high and it starts to go low for our training loss and our validation. It seems to be kind of smooth till around here, then it goes up and all right, that looks pretty good. So that's interesting. We can also graph the accuracy at the end of each epoch. This is going to be interesting. So let's go plt dot plot. And what do we want to plot here? Well, let's go t divided by 600. Why 600? Remember in our epochs there in iterations of 600, right? So T divided by 600, and then let's go for T in train underscore correct. And this train correct, if you remember, uh, way back here, we defined that right here. Uh, okay, check the earlier videos if you're interested in what that's all about. And let's give this a label. So let's go label. And let's set this equal to training accuracy. All right, that looks good. So let's do another one. Let's go plt.plot. And this time let's go for t in 100 for t in test underscore correct. And again, that test correct is right here. So we got a training correct under test correct. We wanna see how accurate we were, what, what was the correctness, so to speak. And let's give this a label of validation accuracy. And this really needs to be in quotation marks and this needs to be an equal. All right, that looks good. And again, let's give this a title. Let's go plt.title and let's say accuracy at the end of each epoch. And again, let's give this a legend, plt.legend. The legend, if you don't know, is this little box here that says what's what. <laughs> So, all right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and run that. And boom, we get this thing. And so again, four points, one, two, three, and four. And our accuracy, you can see right away is above 98%, right around there and moving up. 
So, all right, very cool. Looks like we did a decent job here. So now let's just test. I mean, we can kind of look at this and see, but let's get an actual number to see, you know, kind of how correct we were. So let's come down here and let's create a new data loader. Let's go test underscore load underscore, I don't know, everything, right? Test load everything. And this is going to equal a data loader. And we want to load in our test underscore data. And let's give this a batch underscore size of 10,000 because that's how many of these images we have, right? 10,000. And then let's go shuffle equals false. We don't need to shuffle these. We're not doing anything all that interesting here. All right, so we've got our stuff all loaded up. Now let's see how correct we were. So let's go with torch dot no grad underscore grad. There we go. Uh, let's set correct equal to zero to start out with. And then let's go for X underscore test and Y underscore test in test underscore load underscore everything. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. Uh, so for X test and Y test in this data loader thing we just created, uh, let's go Y underscore val equals model with our X underscore test stuff. And let's get our predicted. We're going to set that equal to torch dot max of Y underscore val of one. And again, we want to index this on one. And then let's set the correct to plus equal anytime the predicted equals the Y test. We've looked at this in the past videos. Let's go predicted equals Y underscore test. And then we want to dot sum those. We kind of talked about this a little bit in the last video. So, okay, let's run that. And it's going to take a second because there's 10,000 of these things, but uh oh, we have an error. Uh, what did I misspell here? Ah, <laughs> this should be equal to, not minus. What's going on there? I've done that twice in this video. Use minus instead of equal to. All right, so let's run this guy again. Again, it's going to take a, a second to go through here because there's 10,000 of these guys, right? But pretty quick, boom, done. So now let's uh, test uh, for correct. And if we want to just kind of look real quick, we can see, we can just go correct dot item. And it's, we're getting 9,873 out of 10,000, which is pretty good. We can get the percentage of that if we want by just uh, taking this divided by the length of our test data, right? And it's just going to be this, you know, to, divided by 10,000, right? So it's just going to be a percentage of this. Uh, so 0.98. 73%. If we wanted to then, you know, times that by 100 or whatever, 98.72.73 basically percent correct. And that's pretty good. So, very interesting. You know, the fun stuff was all of this, but now we can kind of look at it and see how well we did. And it looks like we did pretty good. And that's kind of all there is to it. So, in the next video, we'll probably run new things through here and test, like we'll put an image through and see. Uh, what it predicts it to be. So we'll put a seven in there and see if it predicts that it's a seven or identifies, I should say, that it's a seven. We'll look at that in the next video, but yeah, I'm moving right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.